The Steelers signing Patrick Peterson was a great move. I was looking at the film and, well, he just doesn't look like he's 32 years old. He doesn't look like he's lost a step. But with that being said, the Steelers also lost Cam Sutton to the Lions. He signed for three years, $33 million. And I said this a lot but he played like a number one corner for a good amount of the season, so he deserved that type of money. But again, the Steelers didn't really take a L here because they got Patrick Peterson. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to be saying. Patrick Peterson is old, but it didn't really show on film, like I said. And to be honest, with the technology nowadays, dudes can really play till they're 33 at the cornerback position and not necessarily lose too much speed year to year with the technology we have but Patrick Peterson on film again IQ very very high can play within the Steelers system man to man still very good so really this is perfect for both the Steelers and the Lions because of course the Lions get a great corner but the Steelers always do this thing where they get one to two year rentals at the cornerback position with a corner who is of course a veteran and is proven but they just get the best they squeeze the best out of that corner for like one to two years like you know with Steve Nelson and they don't really ask much of the corners because of what the system is right you got cam hayward you got tj watt they won't really have to cover for that long and that's why the steelers system has worked so well with number two corners they don't really need a number one but when they do get higher echelon number two corners like a patrick peterson who last year could easily be considered a number one in fact i would have considered him a number one because you know he's the best corner on his team and he played just out of his mind at 32 years old. So when the Steelers get guys like that, the system, the team, the defense, it just goes to a whole new level. So this is why I'm really excited for this signing. I'll have more film out once you know I can check out all 17 games. But just from what I've seen from like three or four games, man, oh man. Dude can still cover. I mean, how long has he been in the league? And you get him for seven mil a year. Of course, you're saving money because Cam Sutton was four mil more. Now, with all this being said, this kind of confirms to me, at least, that the Steelers are going to pick a corner with their first two picks because you know, you want Patrick Peterson to mentor a young guy. That's part of the value you get in this deal, his veteran leadership, his IQ. And so if you can get a young guy like Deontay Banks or Emmanuel Forbes or Joey Porter Jr. under him and have them learn throughout their first couple of years and really help them develop, that is increasing the value and maxing out the value of this deal plus you need another guy because you can't just have levi wallace and patrick peterson of course you got arthur Marlette and james pierre but you want another guy who can at least be a number two corner if not a number one and you get that guy through the draft in my opinion the talent coming out this year like i said is insane guys that will go round two this year would go round one in previous years so it's the perfect time to draft a corner in round one or round two and it was the perfect time to sign patrick peterson but let me know what you all think about the steelers signing patrick peterson and the steelers losing cam sight into the lines i'll have more film out later on patrick peterson but hopefully you'll enjoy this video and that is it for me on this one peace